Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we got to sell it on City, we got an Eevee, we finished up Route A, I believe, and went to the Underground Path to get here, basically. So I'm going to start off by going to the Department Store real quick. Because there's actually quite a few things I want to do in this episode, part. <laughs> in this part. I always say episode, but I mean part, because I always say parts instead of episodes in my video titles. Okay, let's see here, bye. You can buy like TM05 Roar, TM15 TM Hyper Beam, TM28 Dig, TM31 Brick Break, and TM43 uh, Secret Power, and TM45 Attract. But I'm, I'm interested in getting TM15 Hyper Beam. It's gonna be a lot of money, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, I have a max money, so I can't have to spend more of it actually, so. Makes sense. There's that. I wanna actually teach that TM to uh, Trouble Cliff actually, because Trouble Cliff will get the same type of attack bonus with it. Since it's a normal type move. So here it is, Hyper Beam, okay. Let's uh, give it to Triple Cuff then. Yeah. Which move should be, uh, should a move be deleted and replaced with Hyper Beam? Yes, yeah. Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of, um. Let's get rid of Double Slap, honestly. Yeah. 1, 2, and poof. Triple Cuff forgot, uh, it's Double Slap and Machine Set. Triple Cuff and Hyper Beam, yay. Cool. Let's go up another f two floors, because on the fourth floor there's evolutionary stones we can get. So that's pretty cool. So right here, let's buy, let's buy a, th a fire stone. And let's buy a um, water stone as well. That should be good. Yeah, I think if you go on the roof, you can like buy soda pops and lemonades and all that, which I might actually do that. But um, I don't know. I don't think so. In my practice playthrough, I didn't go up there and buy soda pops and everything. But it's a good deal if you're working for a cheap alternative. Like the cheap alternative to super potion, I think it's fresh water. Then lemonade's pretty cheap. I think it's like a little under over over 300 pocket hours. You can restore 80 HP. What am I doing here? Wait, no, hold on. I just couldn't find the door, jeez. My microphone was right in front of my face, so, like, I couldn't see it. See what was on screen, really. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go over here next. Um, we can cut down this tree right here. This tree looks like we can cut down. Would you like to cut it? Yes. Yeah, uh, there's a double ball coming up, so I guess we can take that on, too. But I want to get an HM, HM03 fly. So, yeah. Jed says, our love knows... Uh, no bounds. We love, we're in love, and we'll sh and we show it. Okay. So I think this is like a young young couple. Yeah, I can tell by the sprites already. Cool. Leah and Jed. Okay, would like to battle. Rapid Ash and Nine Tails. Okay. Both level twenty nine. Let's see here. Um, we'll keep Trouble Cuff in, I guess. But Firefox, we'll switch to switch to um, Airbender, I guess. Trouble Cuff. Um, let's use the new move Hyper Beam on the Rapidash. Hopefully it hits, you know, that'd be nice. Let's so use Ember on Trouble Cuff. And then Nine Tails is. Okay, the Rapidash is, but the Nine Tails is gonna use Safeguard, so that protects it from having any status. Mo statuses affected on it, like Burn, Sleep, Paralysis, stuff like that, for a certain amount of turns. Let's go for the. Um, let's go for the Wing Attack on the Nine Tails. I guess I could take care of the Rapidash first, but that's okay. We can still win this battle. Nope, it's gonna, it's gonna get us confused, right? Of course. Of course it is. It's confused, okay. Hurt itself in confusion. Okay, again, try to wing attack on the Ninetales and the Pound on the Rapidash. Now it's getting a fire spin on Travel Cliff, Rapid Ashes. So that's not cool. The Nine Tails is gonna use Ember on Airbender. Oh, it burned it. No! Dang it, this is so dumb. Firefox is in level 22. Awesome. Travel Cliff is now level 30. That's nice. Render, yeah, I burn a hit by hit by burn. I must have poison there. Um, 
Let's try to heal its, uh... Let's try to heal its burn real quick. Because that burn cuts, uh... You know, it renders attack in half, really. Which is not good for us, at least. Um, let's try to burn, heal, burn, heal. There it is, cool. Okay. And then, uh... Trollcuff can use Hyper Beam. Use Quick Attack on Airbender. Hyper Beam hits again. Awesome. Hopefully this knocks it out. There we go. It knocks it out. Nice. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Defeat young couple Leah and Jed. Oh no, my love has seen me as a loser. Oh man, you're so, you're so, you know, upset about that. I'm sorry. Thanks for $16.24 though. Okay, so yeah, um, let's talk to this person. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make up. It, I'll make it up to you with this. We get HMO two, HMO three. Dang it, HMO three is surf. HMO two is fly. Yeah, okay, please, okay, please put it to good use. Yeah, and she was just explaining how I was like the. Yeah, I can fly to places you've probably already been to without the Pokemon with. You have to be in by that. Yeah, she means like Pokemon or places you've been at the Pokemon Center at least once. I think that's how it goes. I have to teach a Diabender first, actually. Ah, cool. Let's go to TM case then. Let's go to. Yeah, fly. Let's teach that to Airbender. Yeah, she already know, he already knows four moves, which we should be forgotten. Yes. Yeah, um, let's get rid of, um. Get rid of Quick Attack, honestly. Oh, we can get rid of Gust, actually. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Figure fly and machine set. You're ready to learn fly, yay. Cool. Let's see here, is my team still organized? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's fly back to Celadon City real quick. Just so I don't have to go walking all the way back. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. Okay, so here we are back here. Next thing I want to do is... Sh I want to actually show off this second snow axe that uh, people were talking about, actually. It's uh, west of Celadon City on Route 216, or Route 16 on 216. Yeah, um, a Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Yeah, that's, a, that's their second snow axe, and there's only two snow axes in the Kanto region, actually, for, in this game, you know? So you want to catch both of them, if, just to have both of them, because they're really cool, actually. I've used one on my team before, and it makes a great Pokemon. I won't be using it on my team this time, or one on my team this playthrough, but that's okay. Um, go, go in here, and basically all you want to do is talk to this person in the top left corner of the place. He says, go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> and he gives us a coin case. Awesome. Yeah, wait, I didn't get read, like, it said something something man, but I didn't get read with the man, like that. He probably put an adjective in front of man or something. I'll probably see it in editing, actually. But yeah, we got a coin case, so now we can go to the game corner and gamble, yay, to get stuff. How nice. You could actually go to um, the Celadon City Gym by cutting down on this tree right here. But um, as long as you have cut, and you only cut for the gym, too. Of course, you only cut to get to the gym, so that's uh, you would probably need to cut just regardless for this section. And you get a fourth gym badge if you want. But for me, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, is there an item over here or something? Let's see, let's just cut right here. Just curious. Uh, maybe a hidden item or something. Yeah, there's a hidden item. It's a PP up, yay. Cool. Oh, and you can also get back there without even... Wait, is there an item over here? I guess not. Okay. But yeah, you can get it back here without using cut if you just go up here. But you have to go all the way back around if you don't have cut, you know. Because the bush is going to be like right here. So yeah. Okay, so at the game corner, here's, I'm going to go to the place where you can actually buy prizes and stuff. The far, the far, the person on the far left will give you items, held items, which is pretty cool. A smoke ball, miracle seed, charcoal, milk water, uh, mystic water, uh, yellow fruit. And uh, yeah, smoke ball basically makes it so like if you use it, if your Pokemon's holding it and it's out in battle, it can automatically free using the smoke ball, which is really nice. For like grinding and stuff in certain areas, I guess you could say. Uh, Miracle Seed raises the power of Grass type moves as a held item. Uh, charcoal raises up the power of Fire type moves. 
And then uh, Mystic Water uh, boosts, uh, raises up the power of water type moves. Uh, of course, I'll do the, you know, water, fire, or grass Pokemon. And then Eel Fruit's really nice because it can heal, can, it can, uh, it can give it a confusion, which is really nice. I'm gonna get all those items actually. Um, yeah, we exchange coins for prizes. Okay, which which prize was like Abra? Abra is really good if you just unlucky with catching Abra in the wild. You know, having to use teleport on you all the time and fleeing from battle. Clefairy is also a really good Pokemon if you don't want to go to like the Mount Moon. Or if you may have forgot to pick up one at Mount Moon, you can get one here. For and these two, you know, they're, they're not that many coins, honestly. Um, yeah, and Pinsir is a really good bug type. I've never used it on my team though, but I heard it's really good. I think in Fire Red, it, this is a Scyther. Because I think Scyther may be exclusive to Pyre Red. And then uh, in Pokemon Leaf Green, it's Pinsir, I believe. Um, Dratini is a really good Pokemon. I, uh, I'd recommend you getting one here in the in the game corner because later on in the Safari Zone, you're timed because how, you're kind of you're kind of limited to how fast how many steps you take really because it's based on how many steps you take in the game as you're playing. Porygon, I think you can only, I think you can only catch Porygon or get Porygon in the game corner, but it's like six thousand five hundred coins. But yeah, I'm gonna get all this Pokemon right there, except for um, Abra and Colferi, because I already have one for my Pokedex. But yeah, it's just for like, getting Pokemon for my Pokedex, really. So in the final one to the far right, this guy, this person sails you, uh, he can give you a TM13, which is Ice Beam. It's a really good Ice type move. Uh, TM23 Iron Tail. I won't be getting that one. Well, uh, I might get that one. No, I don't think I would need. Is, is this Iron Tail? Yeah. It even tells you if you go. Uh, if you could select it. I won't be getting Iron Tail because I don't want to be using it at all in this playthrough. Uh, TM24 which is Thunderbolt, really good electric type move. Uh, TM30 which is Shadow Ball, really good move. And then TM35 which is Flamethrower. So yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let's go in here. I'm gonna actually show you guys how to get 50 coins without even having to take you on the slots because people just give you coins if you ask. Certain ones. Okay, keep this quiet. Uh, it's rumored that this place is run by Team Rocket. Interesting. Kid, do you want to play? Uh, we you receive 10 coins from the man. Cool. Nice. Uh, I think these machines have different odds. Well, maybe. I think they do. Here's the device giver in the game corner, because apparently in the Celadon City Gym, only girls are allowed, really. So yeah, he's in the game corner. Hey, you have you, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Celadon's gym leader is Erica. She is a user of grass type Pokemon and and at one with nature. She might appear do docile um, because of her flower arranging, but she's not one to be taken lightly. Interesting. Okay, so with these slots, uh, games, win or lose, it's all about only by luck. Uh, games are scary. I'm so easy to get hooked. Okay, let's check to the scientist dude. Uh, what's up? Want some coins? We get 20 coins from the nice guy, so now I have 30 coins total. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, uh, hey, what's that? You're throwing me off. Here's some coins. Shoo, so shoo. Now I got 20 coins, which is 50 coins in a coin case. If you go to your t uh, camp's pocket, um, you can use the coin case, and it says your coin's 50. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, the reason why I wanted to get max money for, um, you know, for this game is just because this, I want to buy coins. I'm not going to even spend one time at a slot. Well, maybe, well, maybe I'll show it off at the uh, later when I get all my stuff and everything from the prize corner next door. But yeah, let's talk to this person. Okay, welcome to the Rocket Game Corner. Do you need some coins? Would you like some? Yeah, it's 500, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be um, going. I'm gonna be cutting this out, and uh, I'll meet you guys back here when I have all the prizes and stuff. So, cause that's like this is a long process with having to like buy the coins and then go next door, buy the coins and go next door for this certain stuff. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back here and I bought 50 uh, play coins just to play the slots for a little bit. Um, here's what I got basically out of the um, all of that, you know, after all the prizes and whatnot and all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to give the smoke ball to, um, I think I'm going yeah, to give it to Airbender, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Um, the Miracle Seed I'll give to, uh, Giant Green. The Mystic Water, I don't have my water type yet, actually, so, yeah. Charcoal, though, I'll give to Firefox. Uh, Yellow Flute, um, yeah, I can just use as, like, a, a heal and confusion, like I said before. So there we go. 
something else. But yeah, okay. Um, I want to also teach some TMs to some of my Pokemon and whatnot. So, let's see here, TM case, there we go. It's right here, nice. Okay, so I want to give, I want to teach uh, Ice Beam, no, I'll get all my, I don't have my water type yet, dang it. Okay, so I bought two Thunderbolts, so I got them from winning coins, from the coin, and exchanged it for coin. I exchanged coins for, um, you know, Thunderbolt, so I'm going to teach Thunderbolt to uh, Trouble Clef, and my man's not going to win Thunderbolt, actually. That's why he has Shockwave, really. Is Thunderbolt all going to be for my water type, you know? So let's see, yeah, I delete move for Thunderbolt, yeah. Okay, let's get rid of, um... Let's get rid of Mega Kick. Yeah. One, two, and poof. Trouble Clef, we got Mega Kick. And Machine Set. Triple Cuff wearing Thunderbolt, nice. Teach Shadow Ball to that, um. I have Triple Cuff as well. I don't want Shadow Ball, yeah, I don't need those moves, which moves should be got. Yeah, the moves should be deleted to get for uh, room for Shadow Ball, which moves should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um. Let's get rid of Pound, I guess. One, two, and poof. Triple Cuff, we got Pound, and Machine Set. Trouble Cuff wearing Shadow Ball, nice. And then Flamethrower, yeah, let's teach that to uh, Firefox. Yeah, okay. Uh, which, yeah, of course, would be the place to make room for it, I guess. Let's get rid of, um. Let's get rid of Will Wisp, I don't really need Will Wisp. Yeah, 1, 2, and poof. Uh, Firefox, we got Will Wisp, and Machine Set. Firefox wearing Flamethrower, yay. Cool. I think that's it though for right now. Okay, so it's now I'm thinking about it. Um let's see Firefox's final move set would be um This final move set would be flamethrower, fire blast, overheat, and dig. And fire blast and overheat be RTMs. So I could evolve Firefox now. Ooh, decisions, decisions. It's kind of hard. It's hard, um, I could. I'll wait a little bit longer, actually, to evolve it. So yeah, let's play some slots right here. Okay, I slot machine, want to play? Sure, yes, all happy, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bet three coins. Let's see if I do well on this. Nope. Got some. Yeah, we got four coins from that. Nope. I hope Kofi just falls over you enough you lose. But yeah, I always do bet three, really. Two sevens in a row. I'm not really good at the slots, as you can see. That's why I buy the coins, really. I try to find that seven. Nope, bike so on. I still want some stuff. Cool. Twenty-three payout. Wow. There we go, Voltorb's nice. Well, I got I came in with the uh, I ended up having 15 more coins than what I started with than what I started with. I started with 50, but I actually left with 65, so I'll take it. Okay, so there's this Team Rocket Grunt you see right there. He looks awfully suspicious, like he's doing something he's not supposed to be doing. He's doing something secreti secretive, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I'm guarding this poster. Go away, or else. Okay. Or else what? Team Mac are going to like the battle. Since I eradicate, okay. It's level 20. Firefox is level 22, of course. Switch that with that, yeah. Flamethrower attack. Let's get a scary face on us, okay. Then we're Firefox's speed by 2. 
That's not very nice. Who burned it nice? Let's use another flamethrower then. Hyper Fang won't do as much because uh, it's it's um. I was gonna say because it's um burned, but uh yeah. Quick attack then yeah. It's hurt by born hope hope hurt by born <laughs> hopefully yeah that goes fan yeah it's fancy nice cool. Zubat okay. Let's stay in. Demi's quick attack. I'm gonna use flamethrower. No. Oh well, I'll just flamethrower then. Don't make me flinch. Don't make Firefox flinch. No. There we go. Nice. We defeat Team Rocket Grunt. Dang. Thanks to fix six dollars and forty cents, man. The team rocket bait hideout might be discovered. I'd better tell boss. Okay. Imaginary stairs, huh? Not really. Hey, there's a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. There's some stairs. That leads to the team rocket hideout. Which we'll continue. We'll show explore actually in the next part, actually. Also, I want to show how much money I have left compared. To I had max money, like, right before I made the cut. Or right before I went to get all the, you know, coins and items. But now I only have 200,000 plus poker dollars now. So, yeah. Um, I want to actually, here, I'm going to cut to the Saldon City, uh, department store again, so I'll be, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so I just went to the first floor, second floor, the first floor I could actually sell stuff, so I'm going to go to sell. I'm going to actually sell, um, uh, the rest of our nuggets. Here we go, nice. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm going to cut to the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I healed up all my Pokemon. Now we're gonna actually go to the, my uh, PC and deposit some items. So item storage, deposit item, deposit the ether, and the PP up. And yeah, I'm gonna sure to sell that pro whenever I can. Next time we go to like a place that sells items. So yeah, in the next part, I guess we can take on the Celadon City Gym. So that's our plan, I guess. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green. We do like the part. part. Next part, we'll take on Celadon City Gym, like I said before. Get our fourth gym badge, hopefully. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so let's go again. I would like to thank you for again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green redo walkthrough guide.